Anna Kailanskaya taking on big game Alicia P. A. P. Alicia Parks in the building. Now, it's going to be a good match, guys. Anna Kailanskaya, she's down to like 115th in the ranking. She has plummeted after a ooh, rough season, right? A lot of injuries. She finds herself here in the semifinal after defeating in the first round Heather Watson, Prosarov in the second, and Haley Baptiste, where she went. She went three sets with Haley. Alicia Parks finds herself here in the semifinals after taking out Ann Lee in the first round, Monin in the second, and in the third round, a rematch uh, with Catherine Seaboff from Las Vegas, where they uh, had that drama-filled match. Seaboff is a Canadian resident, but she plays a lot of these type of tournaments in the USA, and this is going to be a good match. These ladies played once earlier this year at the Indian Wells, where, look, I was there. Anna Kailanskaya won that match, 6-1, 6-1, blowout. Very windy. If you're not familiar with the Indian Wells, I don't know. Is it, you want to say it's like Cancun. It's very nice during the day, but at night, it's very windy. Literally, you could wear, you know, shorts and, you know, tank top during the day. At night, you'll need a winter jacket. It's in the desert. It's very windy. The conditions are very bad at night. Lisa Parks cannot get comfortable during that match. And she didn't play well, made a lot of mistakes. Now, this is a matchup here where Anna, look, her type of style, Anna, she's a good shot maker. And she, look, I say it all the time, the longer the rally goes, it favors the person that wants to play slow. It favors the person that's a good shot maker, and it favors the patient person. Alicia Parks uh, averages the most aces on tour per match. She's got a very powerful serve. She puts a lot of pressure on opponents to initiate her service games. And she's got a strong one-two punch, kind of like Sabalenka. She follows up with the forehand. She loves to go deep and wide. She loves to play the lines. Uh, she can cover the net vertically. She's uh, she's tall. She's athletic. She's explosive. This is the type of matchup here where if Alicia Parks wants to win, she has to come out with kill shots. She has to play aggressive, fast, strong, and extremely quick. This is the type of match where she needs to win rallies five shots or less she's got to get her serves in play and come right back and look ready to finish anna anna if she wants to win this match she's got to extend the rallies five six seven eight shots or more she's going to be in favor to win these rallies because she's comfortable playing defensive she uses spin she has good range all over the course she has good angles she's not as athletic as alicia parks but she's a really good shot maker so the longer the rally it's going to favor anna kylanskaya this is the type of matchup here where Anna's the favorite, even though she's the, you know, lower ranked opponent on tour. She's ranked 115th. Alicia Parks is a, she's a top 50 player. She's the third seed in this tournament. Alicia Parks, looking at who she's beat to get here. Ann Lee, I don't necessarily see Ann Lee, you know, um, uh, Beating Anna Kalinskaya, but I think she can, and I think she could give Anna a lot of problems. Catherine Sebov is more along the lines of uh, Anna Kailanskaya. She's, she's Catherine's a good shot maker. She, you know, she can she can keep the ball in play. Doesn't really have a lot of power to overwhelm you, but she can make shots. So I, I see Seabov very comparable to Anna. However, I would take Anna to beat Seabov nine out of ten times. And Lee, I don't know if I would take Anna to beat and Lee nine out of ten times, but maybe at least 60% of the time. This is a match here where Alicia Parks has not dropped a set. She plays very fast and good indoor hard. And I think the pick here is going to be Alicia Parks plus one and a half games in the first set. You can get that. Uh, that's right around 160. I think Alicia Parks will probably win the first set outright, but I'll take the point and a half in case it goes to a tie break. I think Alicia's going to hold serve. It just comes down to that. Alicia Parks indoor, she wins 80% of her service games. So with that mathematics, she's going to hold herself to at least a tie break in the first set, if not win it outright. Indoor hard, Alicia Parks, historically, she's going to win 80% of her service games. She's just too good and too strong indoor hard. Anna Kylanskaya has battled a lot of injuries. I mean, a season ago, literally out of every five matches she played, she had to retire one of them. So I don't know how healthy she is. She's definitely not as athletic as Alicia Parks. And this is going to be a match where, look, Anna can win. She she 
let's just be honest, he destroyed Alicia Parks at Indian Wells, but I think Alicia wants to get revenge. I wouldn't count Anna out to win the match outright, but we're going to go with the plus one, a game and a half in the first set for Alicia Parks. I think she's too good into her heart. She's too fast, too explosive, too strong. Anna's going to have to make adjustments to Alicia. I don't think Alicia's going to have to make adjustments to Anna. That's the pick, guys. Enjoy. Emma Navarro, one for one here in Midland with her over Yana Fett. And we're 12 for 13 at the WTA Finals. Stay tuned for those two predictions. Like the video. We'll be right back.